Smart cities are jumping off everywhere, from Maui to California to Texas to Tennessee. You name it, they gonna put it up. So why Green New Deal and climate change and the Earth's falling apart? So the solution is to isolate people in their homes and create an environment where you can control it. Oh, oh, sorry, I said the quiet part out loud. What I meant to say was, no, you have a beautiful house and it's very energy efficient and you can leave it and know exactly what's going on at 24 hours. Smart city, e except if you break the law according to man and then they shut you down and lock you in your house so they don't have to worry about prisons anymore. It's, you see, it's a, it's a monitoring deal. You remember the days of ankle bracelets and ankle monitors? Gone. They don't need that no more. Now you can shackle yourself to your house. Heck, to your car. There's a more nefarious side to this. I smile, but uh, there's, there's a side I think people aren't thinking about. That side has to do with your kids. Okay, I have five. Five. Okay. And the older ones have phones. And we have little tracking software so we can know where they are. But I figure as a parent, that should be something I should be concerned about, right? As a parent, parent, parent. Now, take that out of your hands. And let's say the government wants to know where your children are. You build a smart city. Now you have to give the government all of your info. Now they can track your child anywhere. Why would they want to do that? Oh, they're not checking the children, you think? Okay, well, what about in school? What, when they tell you that you shouldn't know where your child is, isn't that removing you from the... Oh, it's not? It's that, that's different, though. That's different. When they want to tell you that they can pull your kid from class because they have uh, gender dysphoria going on and they want to have a sex change, they don't need to tell the parent, they just take them. That, that doesn't raise a red flag for you? If... If the obvious doesn't scare you, maybe I can help you with something that's happening just under the surface. So let's run some smart city stuff down the line. If I am a predator and I want to make sure that my prey is accessible to me, what's the best method of doing that? I monitor their home, their day-to-day -day activity, when they come, when they go, when they sleep, when they're awake, what they eat, habits, I monitor all of that and I time my thing to when they're the most vulnerable. But that takes a lot of work, you know. It takes me camping out outside the house, getting caught by the cops and them reporting me and I had to go through all this sensitivity training. Why do that when I could just have the government do it for me? If you think the government is so nice, so wonderful that they wouldn't do that, explain why it is that so many children go missing under their care. I'll wait. This just take CPS for a minute. CPS has lost more kids when they should be the protector of them. And you're telling me that the agenda being pushed to isolate children from their parents doesn't have a link to isolating parents? You're telling me that the mere fact that you're trying to make sure you have a handle on what I do, where I go, when I go, how I go, is not directly linked to you having access to when my children go, come. Is it that far-fetched of a stretch? I don't have to be an acrobat to make this leap. I really don't. I don't have to be uh, Dominique Dawes to make this jump. I don't. This is by design. If you've known anything about the elites, the next generation will always be their target. And if the current generation is in their way, they will find a method to remove the current generation to access the next generation. You cross the law, they can make your child homeless. Who gets your child after you're homeless? The state. How do you do that with a smart house? Check your social media feeds, see how much you've crossed us, and once you've crossed us, we lock you down. You're going to rebel, and the instant you rebel, we remove you from the house. And we know where you are. You can't leave. We've locked the doors. We have a code. We can get into your house. 
We handcuff you. We don't even need a warrant at this point because your social media feed is our warrant. We now remove you from your house. You can't do anything about your children. Boom. But they put a nice tag on it. Smart cities. Smart for who? Who's the one being smart here? It's definitely not you. If you buy into this crap, you're not the smart one. Uh, you're the test dummy. And the more you give into this, the more they're going to run you into a wall until you've outlived your usefulness and they toss you into a discard pile and they take the next generation to do the same thing to them. Don't fall for this, people. Fight this toot and nail. If you have to lose limbs doing it to protect your child, that's your calling. Crime across the country is at an all-time high. Even a family road trip is taking a risk. We don't want the feeling of being unprotected and vulnerable. We found Concealed411.com. Concealed411.com gave us the help we needed to legally apply for a concealed carry permit that's recognized in over half of the country. Concealed411.com simplifies the process to apply, and it's all online. We used their free qualification process to answer a few questions and applied for our permit right from home. Thanks to reciprocity laws between states, when you're issued a New Hampshire concealed carry permit, you can legally carry in any state that recognizes your New Hampshire permit. It only takes minutes to apply, so don't wait. Exercise your rights today. Have peace of mind. Apply today. Go to www.concealed411.com. That's www.concealed411.com.